Next stop, New York. <laughs> Taking off na si Timothy. Timothy's not afraid. Okay. What do you say? To, what do you say to Toronto? Hi, Toronto. Okay, Timothy.
keep your seatbelt fastened while seated. In an event of turbulence, the plug attendants may need to be seated. We apologize if this interrupts our service. Use caution but open it overhead bins as items may have shifted. Please keep eyes and gallery are clear. There are two laboratories, one in the front, one in the back. Wi-Fi will be available shortly. You can access AA.com free of charge to view flight connections and other job information. Complimentary treatment videos and statements is also available. Island of Manhattan. Mm. Oh, I forgot. We have water. Water. Make sure you drink lots of it. It's free. Drink as much as you need to. We'll work out the restrooms later. <laughs> now, uh, the uh, the tour is is designed so that we can move quickly. So, folks, if you're gonna go shopping, if you're gonna go shopping, please. Um, we, we don't have enough room for you to go shopping, right? If you're gonna leave the tour, just say, hey, Rhonda, I'm... And we come to Times Square also to, just to hang out in the middle. And the third reason, the big reason for coming to Times Square is the theater. And today's a Wednesday, so the theater will be busy. It's gonna be matinee. So all the cross streets behind us and around us, um, these cross streets are filled with uh, Broadway theaters. Now, if we look straight ahead of us, I'm, I'm going to point in the direction, but obviously some of you here can't see it. But when we make that turn, everyone will see the ball. Have you guys seen the ball at Times Square? Yes, yes you have? Okay. 
All right, so if you have not, there's a 2024 sign, 2024, and it's on top of the 2024. <laughs> and now where are you turning, 47? Okay, we can turn on 47. So folks, we're gonna turn here at 47th Street next to the TKTS. And as we turn, please just look ahead and you'll see the ball. tradition is close to a hundred years so we're always proud of it when the world comes to uh, the square to celebrate the new year that's coming up there you go oh my goodness it's not there right now no, they took it down. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, it's down. Sometimes it's taken down to tweak it. But hopefully before you leave, you'll see it. No, no problem. So who is here for the first time? Who's visiting New York for the first time? Uh, this lovely family? Okay. And where you guys are from? Where you're from? Maryland? Maryland? California. Los Angeles? California. Los Angeles. Maryland? Okay. Is, is he with you guys? This, this little boy is with you? Yeah. Okay. The hotel. Known as the, uh, as a place that has 26 restaurants on it. It's called Restaurant Row. All right. So Manhattan is 13 miles this way and 2.5 this way. And that gives you a river to river. Uh, so the cross streets, if you're walking on the cross streets, you're walking east to west or vice versa. And if you're walking the avenue, ladies and gentlemen, you will be walking north. Central Park is north and 9-11 is south. And fortunately for us, today we're gonna go to those two points, north and south. It's real name. The correct name is Clinton. These houses on your right, on your left, this gives us a look back at the city. And these are known as tenement houses. And tenements were built during the, the kind of a building period when the millions and millions of immigrants were coming into New York through Ellis Island. It was not a, a great living space for those poor folks, but it was the best that, that was available at that time. So we see how we look back and we see the evolution. Oh. <laughs> Oops, we're so sorry about that, guys. All right, we're coming around here to uh, Central Park. It's on our south side right here. Begins right here. Look back, look up. You see the city behind you. This is Central Park West. We're coming around this really cool set of towers. It's living, expensive restauranting, expensive shopping, and the Lincoln Jazz Center. So it's really a multi-functioning space. Now Central Park is the biggie up here. It's the largest of the green spaces in Manhattan and it, it kind of moves around four neighborhoods. Well, it's the opposite, four neighborhoods. The Upper West Side, we have a hotel. It was built by one family, and it, at, at that time it was centering its heights on only the wealthy.
going to cross over here at Columbus Ave. Really affected by what you see back to Times Square or even on the Upper West Side. This is New York's Upper Fifth Ave. It's pretty much a little bit of the symmetry of the uh, Dakota because they were both designed by one of the bright minds at that time. And his name was John Haddenberg. Oh, and if you, if the parents want to take the children to the, the ice rink. to fashion and you want to do some shopping here all the cross streets from where we are to 8th Avenue up and the fashion district and because every designer has a place in in the uh, district all you have to do is put sample sale into fashion district the X's and the windmill all Dutch history right in the middle the First Nation people give this island the name Manhattan, Island of Hills. And right across on the other side, you've got emblems of the British. Easy, easy, the entire story. Stanford White. Say, say welcome to Central Park, Timothy. Say welcome to Central Park. Central Park Trail. Uh -huh. The sky is blue, beautiful. So are you. Nice. 
Alex. Have you solved the mystery yet? Guys, guys, Come on, look, you guys. guys, look, guys, look, guys, look, 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 one, two, three, good job, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm. Inipka na. I don't want to see more trails. You want to see more trails? Well, we can't go on the other trails. Because we're on a guided tour. Please subscribe to my channel.